filmmaker Robert Greenwald, who's exposed labor practices at Walmart and showed us uh, who was really making a killing in Iraq. He has a new film. It's called Rethink Afghanistan. Greenwald traveled to Afghanistan to show Americans a different side of the war than we usually see. The civilian casualties of the war, one of the victims of airstrikes, was interviewed for the film in Kandahar, Afghanistan. Joining me now to talk about his film, Rethink Afghanistan, is legendary filmmaker and political activist Robert Greenwald. Mr. Greenwald, you just came back from Afghanistan, correct, with this footage? Uh, that is correct. What, what is the sentiment of the people there? Is the United States doing the right thing or the wrong thing? Well, there's a tremendous, as you know, there's a tremendous amount of respect and affection for the United States. Unfortunately, it's going downhill at a rapid pace because of the bombings of innocent civilians and because of the fact nobody wants their country invaded by foreign troops. Over and over again, men and women throughout Kabul told me about the fact that they, this is the third poorest country in the world, Ed, and billions of dollars are being spent on the militarization of what is clearly a political problem. If we were to send teachers and educators and doctors, we would be welcomed with open arms. Sending people who are bombing houses and tragically killing innocent civilians is not a way for success of any shape or kind. Now, if we're killing innocent civilians, uh, and how is this going to breed any goodwill amongst the people of Afghanistan? I mean, war is an ugly thing. Do they know we're there to try to take out terrorist camps and get people who want to destroy the United States? Is there a connection there or is that off to the side? Well, I, in the, in, it's very much a, a, a country built of lots of small communities. So when we drop a bomb or shoot someone who's an innocent civilian in a village of 300 or 400 people and two or three people are killed by us inadvertently, that's worse proportionately than 9-11 is to this country. So what happens is any, the lots of the positive things that we may be trying to do are totally overwhelmed by the use of force and military force, whether it's bombing from the air or invading and breaking into people's homes. Right outside Kabul Ed, is a camp, a refugee camp, that was too dangerous for me to go in. Uh, but I, I met and interviewed several of the people from that camp. It's thousands of families who have no place to go, no jobs, and literally there was. We have an interview of a young of a father trying to sell his daughter because he can't pay for food for this young girl. What do we do, Mr. Greenwald? I mean, we've got a new commander over there. You're, you're stating here tonight, we got the wrong policy. This isn't working. That's what I'm hearing. Well, I think that our campaign is called Rethink Afghanistan. There are lots of brilliant people in the Obama government. There are lots of incredibly smart Afghanistan voices. And one of the things we are deeply committed to is, unlike Iraq, we want to make sure that America hears from voices of Afghanistan and not those who were bought and owned by the neocons. And there's lots of possibilities. You know, look, this was a change administration. There's no way that the same old, same old military solution is in any shape or form a change. But there's lots of options and ways to handle what's a tribal problem, what's an ethnic problem, what's a political problem, what's an education problem, what's a job problem. But a way not to handle that, a way not to handle that is men and women with guns. And Robert, you're saying that there's no other media coverage on this focus. There, there, well, no one's focusing on this right now. There's very little of it. Look, the footage you just showed before, Ed, I mean, they're real dangers. Yeah. The, the gentleman who filmed that for us was arrested by the Taliban. I could not go into many areas of even Kabul, the central city, because it's deeply dangerous because of the bombings and the kidnappings. So I don't want to suggest that it's, uh, it's easy for the media. But on the other hand, we know from recent history the devastating impact if we don't tell 
tell these stories, if we don't put a face on policy, and if we don't begin to really understand the implications of what we're doing in this faraway place. How do you feel about people who would say, Robert Greenwald, you're anti-American for doing this? <laughs> well, I, I, I would say the opposite. One of the most heartbreaking things that I've ever seen, Ed, is when these refugees, again, they would talk about how much they dislike the Taliban, but then they said in the same breath they were just as frightened of the foreign troops in the United States as mm -hmm. they were about the Taliban. Now, as, as a patriotic American, it breaks your heart. And when my friends took me through Kabul and they showed me, they said, here's a school that was built by yeah. India, and here's a clinic. I wanted to hear them talk that way about the United States and what we were doing. The documentary is Rethink Afghanistan. I understand this is a portion of it. You obviously have not finished it. We'll have you back and talk more about it. Legendary filmmaker and political activist Robert Greenwald here on The Ed Show. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Ed.